food is the ingredient that brings us together. Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking you to Tandoori Flame in Delta, British Columbia. Let's go inside the restaurant and uh, check them out and check out the buffet. It's great for takeaway, they got buy one get one free. Berries. Special, and as well, they're mentioning that they do uh, events as well for people in events, and they also have uh, private areas as well. So, they have their festival which they uh, hold every year. This year they have the Chaturi Gully, which is basically the Indian um, street food. And that runs from August uh, 2nd to September 2nd. So it's a great time for everybody to drop by and check it out before it ends. It's the bar and in the patio area outside. So on nice sunny days like this, you can actually sit outside and uh, enjoy your meal. We got the appetizer uh, hot plates here. We got uh, veggie pakoras, veggie uh, spring roll, potato uh, chips, as well as French fries. And we got aloo tikka. And last but not least, we got onion. got here they're making fresh jalebis look at that beautiful And there's some uh, snacks. So there's some more spices here that you can top up your dishes with. This is really cool. What they're here they're trying to do is basically freshly roast the peanuts. So you freshly roast the peanuts that you can enjoy with your meals or as a snack. It's beautiful. It gives the restaurant a really good aroma when you walk in. It's really like a nice smoky um, aroma throughout the restaurant. That kind of Seems like it's uh, to some extent takes you back to the streets of India.
And they also serve pizzas right beside us here. So they got uh, veggie pizzas. Uh, they got as well uh, cheese pizzas. And they got chicken pizzas. The chef is going to cut it for us. Another uh, station here, we got Chenna Batura, beautifully garnished, we got some more garnish here, onion spiced up, some uh, lime, and in the back here we got uh, Baji. and this is garnished beautifully as well. Now the next is the uh, dosa station, we got the chutneys here, we got the ketchup, Mint, mint chutney, tomato chutney, as well as coconut. There's also some additional toppings. So we got some onions here, some banana, and here's the beautiful dosa that the chef is making. They're basically dosas are rice grapes, and uh, it's topped with uh, sambar, which is basically a veggie stew. The meat section again. So we've got paneer tikka, tandoori roll, or cauliflower. We got fish fry. We got chicken pakora at the back. We got another chicken dish, a sumi chicken tikka, Malay chicken at the back. We got chicken uh, thighs, which is tandoori roll. And last but not least is seer kebab back here. So lots of uh, meat dishes to choose from as well. Station back here, they got two tandoori and they're making. We got the chef here in action. Here we got the halal station, which we got halal tandoori chicken, halal chicken biryani, there's two different kinds, fried rice, veggie noodles at the back, we also got halal good curry, halal chili chicken, mogul lamb, and then as well we got butter chicken. So everything in this same station, they're all halal. This 
next station is all vegetarian. We got white rice. This is shahi paneer. The back is dal, which is basically lentils. And then pollock paneer, gobi mutter. This is spinach. The next one is cauliflower. Kadu pakora, which is basically just potato. And malai kofta, um, it's also a vegetarian dish. And then changna akuri, which is basically um, chickpeas. That's the word that I was looking for. So everything in this station is all vegetarian. So for everyone that's vegan, they can also come and uh, have a meal here. The next station is some additional dishes, non-vegetarian. So we got chicken biryani. Lal mas, chili chicken at the back here. Makai Murgis uh, here. I might be mispronouncing these, so please forgive me. Karagi shrimp. So we got some seafood. And the next dish is wood curry. And we also got the uh, fish back here. And butter chicken. So lots of uh, meat dishes here for seafood lovers as well as those who like chicken and goat. The center is a salad station. They also got some soup. So they got goat soup, chicken noodle soup, as well as uh, menstrual, which is basically vegetarian. Lots of veggie options, so lots of salads, fresh veggies. And as well, they got uh, lots of fresh uh, fruits as well cantaloupes, pineapple, grapes, oranges. On the side, they got some uh, spices. So basically, you can pop up your soup, or as well as any of your other dishes. And you can make your own. Actually, this is really cool. You can make your own chutney. So you can put chilies, onion, or any other spices and grind it yourself. So this is the make your own chutney station. It's a great idea. Whatever topping you like, you can make it for yourself, fresh, just by the salad bar. So make your own chutney. And in addition, they have some pickles as well. Like homemade pickles. Lots of salads, so they got pasta salad, chickpeas, corn, coleslaw. There's potato salad as well. And a couple of different kinds of uh, pasta salads. which is basically cucumber I believe with yogurt and then you have uh, croutons, hot sauce, ranch, balsamic, caesar you can basically make your own caesar salad with some fresh lettuce and top it up with any other fresh veggies from the other part of the salad part Uh, popsicle station. You can help yourself with some ice cream. And they also got toppings. So we got uh, chocolate. And as 
well they have uh, basically gelatos that you can help yourself with too so they got uh, lots of ice creams here so in this uh, freezer they have the vanilla mango strawberry and chocolate and the next one they actually have green tea strawberry rainbow and butterscotch which is basically caramel uh, dessert it's a halwa gulab jamun and here's another uh, dish so beyond basically small pieces of noodles with a sweet syrup so we got a little bit of their appetizers it's kind of like uh, kidney beans and another one is like a mixture of hummus which is vegetarian we just wanted to uh, try it as well as vegetarian spring roll and vegetarian pakoras which is basically veggie fritters It has a tomato taste to it, but it's a little bit on the spicy side, not too spicy. And this one is kidney beans. It's really flavorful, lots of spices, and the structure is really good. It has a smoky is to it. Here's a veggie pepper. Oh, sorry. Sprinkle. The veggie pepperas. You see there's some chili flakes there. Uh, coriander. Cilantro. The potato, onion. crispy outside it's really soft inside although there are some chili flakes it's not spicy I mean we got uh, a mixture here we got uh, chicken biryani we got uh, chicken fried rice as well as some noodles we got butter chicken here fresh naan and we also got dosa uh, which is a uh, rice uh, crepe so uh, let's actually try the, the Chicken biryani looks beautiful, orange, green, uh, brown color. It has a minty taste to it. Rice is cooked really well. Here's the uh, fried rice. Really good. Just basically how you would get it anywhere else, exact same flavors. We got the noodles, kind of like a chow mein, vegetable noodles. We got carrots, I think, peppers, green onions. The noodles are al dente, flavorful. Let's try a little bit of the naan with butter chicken. So I'll try a little bit of the sauce. Really good. Creamy, Swedish, sweet, lots of uh, tomato flavor. Really nice. Two uh, drinks as well. This one is the uh, lemonade, which is uh, uh, basically green apple as well as lime. It's really flavorful, really refreshing. Chilled perfectly, and then the next one is the blue shark, which is cotton candy, cranberry juice with gummies. So they put gummies in there. It's 
just give it a try and see how it is. It's also really refreshing. The cranberry is not strong. Just got a little bit of salad. They had uh, pasta salad, potato salad, uh, chickpea, coleslaw, corn, as well as two other different kinds of pasta salad. So let's give it a try. This is the regular one. Sweet, a little creamy, and then some uh, crunchy, a little bit from the fresh veggies that they have in there. This is just a regular potato salad. Really crisp. Potatoes are perfect, they're soft, but at the same time, it gives you a little bit of um, firmness. This is just a regular hummus or chickpeas. With black pepper. And then we got coleslaw. Also, it's really good. It's creamy, crunchy, flavorful, and this is just a regular corn. Mm, sweet corn. Love sweet corn. These are the long pants. Just salt and pepper. This one kind of had. I'm curious to see what this was. It said kind of like a red sauce. So I'm not sure if it's spicy or not. It is. It has a kick of uh, spice to it. But it's not too overpowering. So you can enjoy it with your meals just a little bit. You have your pasta uh, as well as a little bit of chili. We're in the section uh, where they're making tiny puri, which is. Uh, Basically these little, uh, I guess dough balls you can say, and uh, they're filled with uh, potato and uh, um, potato and chickpeas, and then there are lots of sauce. So there's chutneys, yogurt uh, that they put within them. So what you have to do is you have to eat them right away because um, basically the liquid would eat through the Thank you. The dough balls. See, it's basically filled with liquid and you gotta eat it right away. If not, it's, the dough ball is gonna break. So there is uh, potato there, there is uh, chickpeas, there's chutneys in there. Um, so what you have to do is basically one biter. A little spicy but it's just refreshing because the chutneys have mint in them it's also a hint of sweetness it's really good so we just got some uh, fresh fruit it's basically pineapple cantaloupe two different kinds and uh, grape so lots of fresh fruit as well to enjoy with your meal we got some desserts this is uh lab jaman which is basically kind of like a dough ball and put in uh, sugar syrup It's kind of like a pudding, but with noodles, I think milk, maybe. They're both warm. The staff were great. They actually allowed us to uh, go to the buffet area before the rest of the customers so that we can get great shots of uh, the food items as well. Uh, the service was uh, fast. Uh, as soon as we would uh, leave uh, a plate, they were right away there to uh, clean the tables. Um, as well, when we ordered our drink, they were uh, quick to bring those out. So we were really happy and I would rate them 10 out of 10. The restaurant was really clean and well organized. They actually had a dedicated uh, team of staff members that were walking around cleaning the buffet areas. Although there was a lot of people in the restaurant that were going to the buffet, there were uh, staff members that were just walking around and as soon as they would see something, they would clean it right away. So I would uh, rate their cleanliness 10 out of 10 as well. 
they had a lot of food items uh, I believe they had over 150 items as uh, they advertised it all the food items were delicious they were warm uh, so it's great to see with the amount of food items that they have they were able to keep it with production uh, and as well the quality was not affected Re really delicious food and I would uh, rate the quality of their food 10 out of 10 as well overall we had a great experience and we highly recommend you guys check them out if you like this video and would like us to continue to uh, bring you great reviews please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon